Hey guys, Morning Weekly here. Um, today I've got a pretty exciting uh, part two to this Panzer 4D build series by Tamiya because I'll be painting it up in winter colours using the hairspray technique. So I hope you enjoy the video and let's begin. To begin with, I primed the model and did some pre-shading in certain areas. The next colour is going to be what will show through from underneath the white colour later on. This is Vehicle Model Air 71.123 and it is German grey. won't show through very well once the model is complete. I did some tonal variation using a lightened version of Model Air 71.123. And then to seal in the base coat, I used a gloss hum roll varnish. with I had some trouble getting the hairspray to spray through the airbrush. This is probably because my nozzle is pretty small, so if you're planning on doing this at home, use a bigger nozzle. The hairspray dried pretty quickly, so I didn't need to wait very long to spray the top white base colour. To get a nice chipping effect using the hairspray, I used a stiff bristled brush and just some plain old water. Chipping was then followed by another coat of gloss varnish, and I then did the decals. To begin with the weathering, I applied a dark brown panel liner wash. I wanted this tank's hull to be pretty heavily weathered, so I generously applied uh, dry pigments with water. I'm now painting them with the same dark grey that I used for the undercoat. Mm -hmm. 
No glue was needed to put the wheels on, they just popped straight on. After painting the tracks with the gun, I then highlighted the effects by dry brushing it with the silver. Some areas of the model look too plain and open for me, so I made some handmade stowage to put on the back and on the turret. Storage was applied using PVA glue. So here is the completed model. I had loads of fun trying out new techniques like the hairspray technique and also using clay to make stowage to put, put on the tank. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.